popcorn reactions, the host in here fresh to death with my money touching daily gear. Shout out to my man Sean for sending me a couple of t-shirts and awesome hats. Touching money daily. For episode 15, it's called Us. Everybody's on their way to the sanctuary. We'll see how it happens. We're looking at the fossil record, knowing what I know about this infection. You cannot say for certain it isn't what killed off the dinosaurs. Oh, hell yeah. Score. A few more of those. A little aluminum foil and some bleach. Got yourself some volts, sister. <laughs> Look at her face. Go to sleep. I got this. No offense, but I'm not leaving Eugene's life in your hands. We have our, have our missions. Thought it was because you were in love with him. I think she fucked up about the governor. Girl in love with the guy she's trying to help get to his girl. I saw the way you were lifting down Rosita's shirt while she was serving you dinner. <laughs> Told me you did or something you didn't do. Something I did. Does she have a thing for Glenn? I didn't think so. I could be wrong. I'm an even Steven type gentleman. Oh my God. Does he talk all day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told him he was dead. He running his boo boo. Maggie and Glenn would get on my nerves if they wasn't so interest if they wasn't like just so interesting. Morning Deuce. Who wrote their damn lines? Shane Black. I think we got about a day's worth of water left. These two siblings here. Oh come on. Hey, but you said winner's choice. It's gonna go to shit. Too much smiling. That should be a rule. No smiling on the walking dead. Look at What you gonna do? The cotton tail belongs to me. What you gonna do? I bet you that's the dude that strangled the dude for that bed. So I was you, I'd hand it over. Now, before you get to wishing you ain't ever even got out of bed this morning. Daryl gonna knock you on your ass. You just lost yourself a piece of tail. <laughs> that's <been> been good. <laughs> but to carve his ass up, that's gonna end up happening. Easy, fellas, <laughs> easy. So I laid out some rules of the road to keep things from going Darwin every couple hours. That's how you mark your territory, your prey, your bed at night. One word, claim. Easy there, partner. <laughs> An ass in is still an end. Darryl, you gotta get, around, get away from these fuckers here. Damn, what is that? None of us have slept more than a couple hours straight since we went all Casey Jones. Casey Jones. <laughs> Hey, 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 watch out! Go, go! Go! No! No! He ain't her mama. <laughs> she says she can walk, she can walk. And Eugene fit the right gear? Just, uh, looking for the right places, though. Oh, we ain't good enough for you, huh? I don't know you! I know that sounds a little funny, but nobody laughs when something goes missing. And you don't lie. When men like us follow rules and cooperate a little bit, well, the world becomes ours. Right, you leaving right now? Anyway, I'll tell you, and this is true. Ain't nothing sadder than an outdoor cat thinks he's an indoor cat. I understand that metaphor. They, they, them dudes ain't about shit. <sighs> I don't like him already. I, I'm, there's something about Eugene. I don't know what it is. That there is a long, dark tunnel full of reanimated corpses. So how y'all gonna do this? Y'all got no light? No, no, no. This, those are yours. You guys can lead them for your trip. You will too. I mean, y'all neither, neither one of y'all seem like bad people. Sorry, I hit you in the face. I'm not. I like to fight. I like to fight. Zita. Good luck. Look, you need to take her with your group. You need to take her with your group, Glenn. I have to say that you were seriously hot, Tara. <laughs> yeah, I like girls. <laughs> I'm well aware of that. Oh, boy. Thanks. I'm glad you leave it. And take Mullet Boy with you. When Brian told us he wanted to take over the prison, I knew it sounded bad. Brian. But still, it wasn't as bad as seeing what he did to Maggie's father. Mm. 
That ain't what she wanted. What happens when you follow a lunatic? I did like the governor, though. I ain't going front. I really did. Claimed. I sure hope you kill his ass. Why are you staring at him for? Like we're going back the other way. That would have happened today. What's your plan? Made it through. We have to get rid of him. Oh, they found the fucking running car. I got it us here from Houston to northern Georgia without incident. I wouldn't say without incident. Minimal incident, navigation wise at least. I think he's full of shit. I just don't know what he's full of shit about. So that's your plan. What is it? What is it? it? Smells like a damn carcass in here. Stop the van. Why are we stopping? Oh! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you say you like to fight. Fight that damn seat. Now ain't nobody around here interested in no half a damn cottontail. Set you. I wish y'all go ahead and get it on. Shit. We gonna teach this fool what, Joe, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Daryl says he didn't take your half of the rabbits. I didn't. Good. Well. Ah! I saw it. He lied. You understand the rules. He done it. Yeah, beating his ass. I don't want that shit now. You guys, you got this off me. I can't run. No. Oh, shit. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Hey, 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 hey. you found your wife. All right. One down. We got four more to go. We got to get Daryl over there. Oh, I forgot about Carol and fucking Tyrese. I met Tara on the road. Couldn't have made it here without her. That's going to come out eventually. That, But she didn't have nothing to do with that necessarily, right? But he knows what caused the outbreak. Yeah. I'm downright tickled y'all found each other. <laughs> I'm downright tickled. Up until now, we've had an armored military vehicle for transport. And we lost state people. That wasn't our fault. Oh, God. I listen. Oh God. <laughs> We're going to Terminus, hot damn it. What in the hell is Terminus? So I just empty my clip into Claim. the ceiling and I hope for the best. That's unreal. Where to do that? Oh, they killed him. Damn, they killed him. I thought they were just going to beat him up. I'd start slow if I was you. Your stomach's probably empty on your thing. Your brother would have definitely been... He'd have been perfect for this group. I ain't been let it dawn since... Before everything fell apart. I miss Meryl. I do. Damn. And I miss Shane, too. You seen this before? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what it is. It's a lie. We tracked him to these tracks one of those signs and thus we got a destination in mind oh it's going down oh shit i can't wait to see what the hell is at the damn terminus uh that don't look safe that does not look safe where the hell is everybody? Huh? 
Hi. I'm Mary. Uh, is that Star Trek? Let's get you settled and we'll make you a plate. Welcome to Terminus. Get you settled and I'll fix you a plate. And I don't trust it. All this smiling and cheesing and shit. Either that or the people that Daryl with are coming to take the Terminus. Something ain't right. I don't know. I like not knowing. And you know what it is? It ain't that something ain't right. It's just that I've been accustomed to the crazy shit that goes on in the walking dead. And I know that every time somebody's got the nerve and the gall to think that they are settling somewhere, shit comes from somewhere. You know? It's like you're on the toilet. You're taking a dump. You're relaxing. You got something good to read. That's The Walking Dead. Till the next episode. This is it. This is it. Episode season four. We are this is our fourth season. We are at the end. And I appreciate everybody that took this crazy ass ride. But I'm afraid it's time to end this one. And let's see what happens. I'm interested. I gotta say though, I haven't seen anyone interesting, more interesting or as interested in the governor. At least not yet. Don't start telling me shit. Because I know some of y'all get real excited and y'all be giving shit away. I don't, don't tell me nothing. 